Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out Sublimation for the first time. Uh, so Cute Boutique Store was super kind enough to send me some Sublimation prints and some other little goodies. I kind of showed you, I think it was my last video? I think it was. I'll attach my last video right here for you guys. But in my last video, um, I showed you guys what she made for me. Today, now, I'm going to go ahead and use all the uh, Sublimation prints she sent me. So she was nice enough to send me this shirt she made using Sublimation. She even sent me an extra logo so I can make another shirt with my logo. She also sent me a bunch of these cute little keychains for chapstick and for hand sanitizer. I have a video coming out soon to kind of show you guys how to make these. So stay tuned for that. And she sent me a bunch of different prints. Um, I'm not going to do these ones today, but she sent me my logo. And then she sent me this one that says Blessed with Boys. So I have this one, but I didn't get a shirt. So I still need to order another shirt for this design. But I'll show you the ones that I'm going to be doing today. So I already cut the edges of the design, but she sent me a Mom Life. A dad life and two kids life ones so there's gonna be one for me my husband and my two kids so I'm super excited to make these hopefully they don't mess up but I'm gonna be do adding these designs to this colored shirt this is a rabbit skins um, and you want to try and get shirts that are at least 50 50 percent polyester the higher the polyester percentage um, the better and more vibrant the design will come out so I believe this one is 65 percent polyester so I tried to find one that had a high percentage of polyester I got both my kids like an army heathered army green color so I'm gonna be lightly bleaching these today um, and then because I got a darker color for me and my husband um, I want the designs to really pop on the shirts so I got Next Level Brand, and I can't remember exactly where I got these. I want to say I got them from Jiffy Shirts, because that's typically where I get all my shirts. But I got the Next Level um, Brand, and these are also 65% polyester. So I'm hoping that these will work with these designs. She sent me these designs like two months ago, and I've been so, so busy that I haven't had time to test them out. Um, she packaged them really, really well, so I'm still hoping that the sheets are still good. If not, when I do the designs, if they don't come out, I'm just going to order more from her and try it again because I really, really, really want to get good at doing sublimation. Um, but I don't want to pay for a printer. It's like not my budget right now, but I would love to add some shirt designs to my Etsy shop just using sublimation, especially if this is easy and... I end up liking it. I'm not going to show you like a step by step on how to bleach these shirts. I'm going to link a video down below. Um, I got this idea from Simply Sally. She makes such beautiful, beautiful bleach shirts and she also does sublimation too. So if you're wanting to learn more about sublimation and how to bleach shirts and how to make like wooden signs, definitely go check her YouTube channel out. I'm going to leave her YouTube link down below and then the video that I watched that taught me had a bleach shirt, so hopefully I don't mess these up. But let's go ahead and head out to the backyard and let's get started with everything. Okay, so for some of the supplies that I'm gonna be using, I have a bucket because I'm gonna be filling this bucket up with some water and peroxide. Um, I learned this method and tested out this method in a video that I used when I bleached black shirts. So I'm gonna use that same technique um, for these shirts and I'll make sure and try and leave that video linked up here somewhere for you guys if you want to go check out that video but I have some just normal bleach a squirt bottle a cup with a brush and some peroxide and then I have some boxes so I'm just gonna get everything set up for you guys okay so first thing I'm gonna do is just fill up a cup with some bleach And don't mind my kids in the background. Okay, and then I'm just going to be using a box. Yes, I know this is a priority mail box and you're only supposed to use it for priority mail. So, you don't have to tell me in the comments, but I needed a box. 
Okay, so you guys can kind of already see the fabric changing. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. And once it gets to the color that I like, then I'll go ahead and take the shirt and submerge it into the peroxide mixture. And guys, also just an another reminder, this is not a tutorial. Um, I'm just doing this for fun, for my family. So again, definitely go watch Simply Sally's video. She'll definitely have a way better step-by-step -step instructions for you guys. And hopefully I don't mess this up. And the reason why I'm doing it outside as well is because you want to try and get that really, really white, vibrant color when you bleach it. You don't want to get that orangish, brownish tinge to it. So when you do it out in natural light, um, ah, it will give it that white color that you want to try and get. So far, here's how this one looks. I'm gonna leave it on there for a little bit more. Um, but I'm loving how it's turning out so far. For the boys's, because their shirt is kind of already light, I'm just gonna do just a few random bleach spots. And then for this one, I tried to do like kind of like stripes almost. We'll see how these turn out. Hopefully they turn out okay. And then once this one's ready, I have my bucket of peroxide with water and I'm just going to soak the shirt in that for a little bit. And then once that one's done, I have my husband's shirt down here. I'm going to do the same design as well on his. Okay, I'm going to give that another minute. Let's go check on. They're just playing with their water table. It's having a lazy Saturday. We having fun. <laughs> I like letting the boys use squirt bottles with water because they like to squirt each other, but squirt guns are a little bit too hard for them and their little fingers, so. There goes that crazy. You cr ah, not the camera, not the camera. Ah, no. Don't be crazy. Dang, you're gonna rip the grass up like that? Okay, so it's starting to get the color that I want. So I'm gonna leave it sitting just for like another minute maybe. And then, I don't know why these aren't changing at all. They've had bleach on them for a while and nothing's happening to them. So I need to go Google why. Uh, these shirts aren't changing at all. This one is doing just fine. But for whatever reason, this brand, which is the Rabbit Skins brand, it's not doing too well. So we shall see what happens. bleaching out in the sun. So basically what I did once they were done is I submerged them in some peroxide water mixture and then I just hosed them down with some water um, to kind of just rinse them out. You can throw them in the washer, wash them with soap if you want, or you can just do a rinse cycle on the shirts if you want. For me, because they're for my family, I just rinse them off with a hose and then they're in the dryer right now drying. So when they come out, I'll show you what they look like. Now, the kids' shirts, the two like army green ones, for whatever reason, 
they didn't bleach or change color at all. So I need to definitely do a lot of research if I ever down the road decide to do sublimation and bleaching shirts. For sublimation, I definitely need to do a lot of research. But, you know, today I'm just having fun and testing them out. But down the road, I need, definitely want to try and find a kid's brand shirt that I can bleach. Because that brand that I got, for whatever reason, doesn't bleach. So, I'm going to look around and see, like, if I can find any kid's shirts that I could use for sublimation to bleach on and see if they come out. I did have a lot of fun bleaching the shirts. I'm definitely wanting to do that same exact technique on some cotton shirts that I could just use for HTV because that's what I have. That's what I mostly primarily use is HTV to make shirts. Uh, and there's so many, so many different techniques that you can use to create your own shirt to be able to sell like on Etsy or, or on your own website. But as of right now, I feel like I only know the most about HTV. I have a lot to learn about sublimation. I'm really hoping that when I do the designs onto the shirts, everything goes well. So wish me luck, guys. And down in the comments, if you guys have any like tips and tricks regarding sublimation, definitely comment them down below. And if you haven't already, um, I'm gonna have it linked down below as well. Uh, you can go join my Facebook group. Basically, the Facebook group is just for crafters so if you're into sewing quilting embroidery sublimation whatever you do that you like to do you can go join my facebook group down below uh, and then i also provide some help like etsy support small business support i'm no expert but um you know i can tell you what i do or would do um so if you want some like etsy support and stuff like that you can go ahead join the facebook group um it's so far, it's been a good turnout. Uh, everyone seems to be enjoying it. So for the people who have joined my Facebook group, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna start rambling. I'm gonna get my heat press all set up for sublimation. Um, I need to actually look online for suggested temperatures. I haven't even done that yet. So I need to go ahead, look that up real quick and then once these shirts are done drying, I'll be able to actually do the design onto the shirt. So wish me luck. Okay guys, so it's a few hours later. Um, I'm all done bleaching the shirts. So now for the adult shirts, super weird. My t-shirt came out like, didn't come out super white like I wanted. But I actually kind of like how the color turned out. Um, so now all I have to do is put the design on. I should have put more bleach in the middle. As you can see, it's not completely like bleached, but I actually just really like how it turned out. And then for my husband's, we used the same exact brand. His kept turning like a peachy color. And I even let the bleach sit longer on his. And still, I could not get them to be like the same color. So, I definitely want to try out different shirts for bleaching because maybe it's just this brand that doesn't bleach how I want it. Um, I know there's the Soft Style Gildan brand um, that I'm willing to test out. So, I will test them out and see if there's like a big difference in like the colors when it comes to bleaching. So, down in the comments, let me know if, if you do sublimation, like what brand of shirts do you use? And like what's your technique to get them super, super duper white? So I'm still playing around with it. This is like my very first time doing sublimation. I am part of like a sublimation group on Facebook. I've seen a few videos on sublimation. But it, again, I'm like no expert when it comes to sublimation. So I'm going to go ahead now and just add the designs on so when I added I already added one of the designs to the green shirts and I love love how it turned out I'm actually wanting to buy some more this was so easy to do literally all I did was set my heat press to 375 and heat pressed the design on for one minute exactly and that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the shirts. Some supplies that you'll need to um, is some heat tape. Some people recommend the Cricut brand. For whatever reason I could not find that brand 
at my local Michaels, so I went with the Sizer brand. Um, and I use Sizer Easy Weed HTV, like that's my go-to. So I used this and had no issues with it. Now, um, with sublimation, they do recommend using butcher paper. I could not find butcher paper anywhere, so I just have parchment paper. So I used that on my first shirt and it worked fine. So I'm gonna continue using that. But let's go ahead and head over to my heat press and let's heat press these shirts. shirts going right now so I've seen like on the little sublimation fa Facebook group that I'm a part of a lot of people when they heat press these bleach shirts because the bleach like kind of eats away at the shirt a little bit it kind of makes it a little bit more thin um, the heat press can actually burn through the shirt and cause holes in the shirt so I'm kind of curious once this is done if there's gonna be any holes or if this is gonna work or we'll see. So we have 10 more seconds. Let's see how this looks. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. So as you guys can see on the camera, um, the shirts didn't come out super white. It came out more of like a peachy color. And I did use peroxide and all that and it still didn't get that white tinge to it that I wanted. I'm thinking maybe I just needed to let them sit out in the sun a little bit longer, but I was just way too afraid that that bleach was gonna eat away through those shirts, so. I'm thinking next time I'll just go a little bit longer. But I really love how the boys' shirts came out. They came out perfect. My design came out a little lopsided. Um, and then my husband's came out perfect, I think. So, I must say, for a first time doing sublimation, it didn't turn out too bad. Just, I need to make some tweaks and just keep practicing. But... I'm thinking I want to buy more sublimation prints so I can play around with shirt designs and... Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. Um, and let me know down below if you would like to see more sublimation videos. I know a lot of you guys actually do sublimation. So, if you haven't already, go join my Facebook group and share your knowledge with us please because I really, really, really want to learn more about sublimation. So, if you haven't, go join my Facebook group. But this is going to be it for this video. It's kind of a short one. It's not my typical 30 to 40 minute video, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it anyways. Um, stay tuned because my next few videos are going to be um, a bunch of like tutorials on like different things you can make using a 4x4 embroidery machine and things that you can make and sell on Etsy using a 4x4 machine. So I have seven projects planned out for you guys so I don't know if I'm gonna do seven different videos or just kind of like combine them into maybe like two videos I don't know yet I'm excited to share those videos with you guys um, it seems like a lot of you guys are super excited to see those videos so that makes me super happy but I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling and I'm gonna go to bed I will see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.